Hi, I'm Tessa Monopoly, Cosmetic Chemist and Trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to make a flash balm. Now for those wondering what is a flash balm, this is a product that has instant wrinkle smoothing effects. It also should be quite hydrating without that greasiness and it should have a formula compatibility to be laid with other products or to be applied as thick as a mask. Now, let me show you how to put this together. Now here I have my phase A ingredients. I'm gonna start with adding a couple of humectants. So I've chosen some propane dial as one of my main humectants. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of glycerin as well, just to make it super hydrating. I'm using more propane dial uh, just because glycerin can be quite sticky or tacky if used at a high input. Just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. Okay, next is my star ingredient here, and this is the Grand Seal EP9 by Grant Industries. This is the instant wrinkle smoothing active that I am gonna be using. So as you can see, it's a really nice white liquid here. Um, it is advised to, to add it to the water phase as it will make it easier to incorporate. And it does require quite a high input to have the instant wrinkle smoothing effects. So it goes in really nicely into the water phase. Next, I'm gonna be adding my polymer. Give that a bit of a stir. That's not gonna hydrate straight away. It will take a little bit of time, um, but adding it to heat, which we will be doing in a second, will help it hydrate. While that's heating, I'm gonna go ahead here and add my oil phase together. I'm using quite a bit of um, emulsifier in this product because you do want it to be really, really thick, um, pretty much like an oil and water balm. So I've got some Montanov 68 here. To this, I'm gonna be adding some stearic acid and also some PEG 100 and glycerol stearate blend. Next is my lipids. I'm gonna be adding a small input of some shea butter, to give it a nice creamy uh, buttery effect. And I'm also gonna be adding some dimethicone too, just so it's not greasy. And I'm just gonna pop that one on heat also. Okay, once both phases are hot enough, we're gonna go in and add them together and then use high shear to bring the balm together. As you can see here, it is already starting to turn quite thick, which is what we want. Okay, and once it's smooth and homogenous, we're gonna remove it from heat and start to cool it. Okay, so once it's a bit cooler, I'm just gonna go in and lastly add my preservative. going to check adjust pH. Okay, and full viscosity will be achieved the next day. So I'm going to cover and leave this. Okay, so this is what our balm is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's very thick, very viscous. Bit on my hand here. Now I'm going to show you my other hand and hopefully you'll be able to see on the camera some instant smoothing results. So that's rubbing in very beautiful. It's not greasy either, it's leaving a very nice smooth matte feel on the skin. So I'm hoping you can kind of see on camera the difference. Well, there you go. That's how you make a instant wrinkle smoothing flash balm. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.